Hey guys, uh, today I, uh, I'll show you on how to make a copy uh, contents between folders or within folders uh, in a PowerShell, which means in a window uh, based environment. Uh, I have I have my Azure portal open here and that has the uh, starting uh, PowerShell. I will use this PowerShell uh, to show you on how to simulate all these uh, copy items. So as you can see uh, I have some folders here. Uh, these uh, have multiple folders. So I will simulate uh, and how I can copy uh, files between each uh, between those folders. So I, I have contents uh, in a, uh, in one of the folder, what's called original folder. And this, if I go to this original folder, I can see uh, a file here, okay? So I will simulate on how uh, I can copy this file from this or, uh, original folder into a destination folder, okay? So I will go back uh, from here. I can copy the command that I, I use copy uh, I would use copy for it's gonna be copy item it's copy item as you can see now it has a uh, real uh, kind of signatures what I should provide but I don't have to follow this generally what it says is what is the path what is the source and the destination uh, it was what it's saying but uh, again I don't have to uh, use all this what I can see is the source is what uh, the original uh, folder test file in it, right? This is it, this source. Destination is gonna be one destination folder, okay? So that's uh, that's what I can say. At this point, if I hit enter, I get uh, a successful result. Otherwise I would have gotten uh, some uh, error. But I, I can also double check by going to the destination folder see the destination folder has the test file as well so let's get another uh, scenario okay so everything inside of this file okay inside of this uh, file uh, inside the folder okay uh, here and then or destination everything into the destination folder yeah it went through same thing because i only had one file if i did uh, everything a star means it's wildcard or anything that is inside this folder uh, the same thing if i were to do for others let's say mm, we don't know we don't necessarily always have one file or only one file inside this source uh, folder how about if we have more uh, not only file but also folder also inside folder which called subfolders right so mm, copy item I can say uh, by the way let me show you what another folders another folders I have another folder is the original folder included so let's copy uh, let's copy uh, item original folder included Okay, let's do star into destination again. What would happen? Okay, so if I go if I do this destination folder, I'll see um, a file. The file was t uh, copied plus a folder is also copied. Let's see what is in the folder as well. Okay the folder it doesn't have anything it's showing me there's nothing is that true okay what is uh, I, I can confirm by going to this destination folder there is a file inside it but over there it didn't it didn't show me so the reason it did is i did not say even go further what we call it here in a, in a PowerShell or window basis recurse. So 
I uh, what I'm gonna do is now I do copy item and then recurse okay when I do recurse it means I want to go keep going keep going deep even the subfolders and copy them in and to the destination folder I'm asking you to so let's see uh, okay so the folder is there exist okay so what it's telling me is the folder that is in the destination already exists the folder that I, I was trying to copy from the original or the source how do I uh, how do I uh, tackle this if I know I am doing right I can do force okay if I force it I know what I'm doing just go ahead and re what override it okay we override it how do I see let's go to the destination now previously you remember that there was, it didn't show me any file exists there but now I did the recurse and plus also I forced the force actually is with this because we already started uh, copying and then it uh, the folder already existed so I didn't want to override it that's why I had to use force but we don't necessarily uh, want to use that when we are sure that we're copying into a uh, blank uh, destination but if we have to override them we have to use the force but uh, let's see uh, let's see if the recurse will bring the file that was under the folder there you go now that we have the folder uh, exist so in a window base which mostly uh, any terminal uh, command prompt we can call it other PowerShell uh, mostly we we can have them the command prompt is mostly common that we see but they are the PowerShell uh, uh, they use a PowerShell uh, scripts and to copy items that's how we use them uh, you know we can do uh, CP that's the bash based uh, commands some uh, sometimes they those commands exist in uh, in Windows a lot of times but uh, the co uh, basic and the what do you call it, the classic commands that for sure exist in those uh, window base or PowerShells are this uh, command uh, copy item uh, and I remember last time also I showed you new item instead of the using the other uh, bash commands so hopefully this helps you guys to uh, explore uh, your understanding about um, PowerShell or Windows uh, in a com in a command line instead of using the, using from the file explorer uh, yeah in in the next video I'll show you on how I also I can uh, create a folder on how we can add uh, contents into files as well instead of uh, doing some other stuff or manually and also how to how we can f uh, remove files in folders for now this should be enough and I don't want to overload you guys and yeah if you have any question let me know in the comment below and until next uh, next video bye bye